My name is Spencer Martin. I am Director of Athletic Bands at the University of Idaho. I am always also here with the help of Vader Percussion and Vader Drumsticks. And we've been talking a lot about drum set. And so with this portion, I just want to kind of talk about just the basics of, of playing a shuffle. And, I, and again, I've kind of talked about this before, and I want to allude to this again. There are so many great players and so many great teachers and so many great techniques and philosophies. This is just one of many, and it's just things that have worked for me. And again, this video is kind of geared toward music educators that perhaps don't have a lot of experience in percussion and that just can quickly watch and see something and help their young percussionists quickly. So for a shuffle, there are many different types of shuffles, but I really want to talk about the base difference between playing a rock shuffle and playing a swing shuffle. Your basic rock shuffle is going to have the shuffle in the right hand. It could be on the hi-hat, it could be on the cymbal, but the basic shuffle just beat is going to sound like this. And a rock shuffle is going to have, and this is kind of a traditional, almost more of a 50s style rock shuffle, is going to have a loud bass drum, a loud um, shuffle, and actually a loud two and four backbeat. So kind of a basic shuffle would sound like this. Symbol. Remember in our other videos when we were talking about kind of the difference between a rock thing and between a swing thing is what limbs to emphasize. So for a swing shuffle, we go back to our swing ostinato, if you will, with our bass drum and our hi-hat. We're doing a feathered bass drum on all four and we're doing a loud hi-hat rocking motion or stomping motion on two and four. One. Three, one, two, three, four. Now our right hand is going to go back to that quarter note swing. But, and this is kind of a subtle difference. And with young percussionists, maybe not as important, but as you get into high school, it, it becomes a little more important. The normal swing quarter note right hand really has a drive to it. For a shuffle, the drive is going to be in the left hand. So you have this quarter note, but it's more of a high stroke. Instead of playing through the cymbal, it's more of a high stroke, kind of just relaxed, almost a bouncing. The main difference between the rock shuffle and the jazz shuffle is we've moved the shuffle, the shuffle beat from our right hand to our left hand. can throw in the skip beat if you want. You can throw in a back beat if you want. But again, the, the big thing to think about is in your, in your jazz program is, is it a rock shuffle or a jazz shuffle? Rock shuffle. Jazz shuffle. 